There are over 20,000 images in Gateshead Library's collection and they are held on prints, on slides, but also on very early glass plate negatives. They're a very good medium to remind people of what place was like in the past and they're very easy to engage with and they really just capture that sense of nostalgia and they capture huge parts of Gateshead that don't exist anymore. This is the very first time we've offered prints from one of our heritage exhibitions and that's come about just because of the sheer demand and popularity of a previous exhibition, um, Secret Streets of Gateshead, which just had an overwhelming response. It was just so popular. There was a chap called Edwin Dodds who was a bookseller on the Quayside and he's taken probably the finest image of Gateshead Quayside, which shows Pipewell Gate, which is the area to the east of the high level bridge. And that was taken from a glass plate negative, a very early one. And it's of astounding quality. It's probably the best quality image we have from the Victorian period. Another image which has come from a glass plate is of Wrighton, of people fishing on the Tyne. You've got images of places like Bottle Bank, which is where the Hilton now stands, but was once one of Gateshead's busiest shopping and trade streets. You've got images of places, buildings like the Steamboat Inn, which was right next door to St Mary's Heritage Centre, St Mary's Church at the time. That stood directly in the path of the Tynebridge Approach Road. So that was demolished along with quite a chunk of St Mary's Churchyard. And then you've got images of Gateshead High Street, which wasn't demolished for housing, but it was improved. So a lot of the houses from the 18th century um, were demolished. So you have pictures of the high street looking more like the shambles in York, with these lovely old higgledy-piggledy rooftops, lots of alleyways and courtyards running off them. And of course, we've got some pictures of Gateshead Football Club which obviously have been doing quite well lately.